everyone. So my family is downstairs putting up the Christmas tree and I lasted about as long as my asthmatic lungs would let me. So now I am here and I am going to be showing you a really quick easy holiday look uh, that doesn't involve a lot of makeup, a lot of colors, uh, a lot of money. Um, it's very glittery and fun and perfect for the holidays and any kind of festive party you will be attending. I really hope you like it, so let's get the tutorial started. Okay, so you're going to want to start with a pretty clean eye area. I already applied Too Faced Shadow Insurance from my lash line to my eyebrow, and beyond that I'm going to use another base, and this is a paint pot called Indian Wood, um, which is a really kind of like a deep gold color. It's uh, a lot deeper than Rubenesque, although Rubenesque would work really well for this look too. Um, I just have a darker glitter that I'm using, so I'm going to use this color that looks very similar to it as a base. And I'm applying this quite thickly using a 217 brush. And the reason I'm applying it thickly is because I need something for the glitter to kind of sink into um, and really uh, be held on by. So putting on a thick coat of this will help the glitter kind of melt into it. Um, I just am keeping it below the crease or like in the crease so as to not be overly dramatic with the glitter which could tend to happen anyway. Um, so in the glitter that I'm talking about is actually just a shadow from a quad by Sony Kashuk that I got at Target and it is the Show Stoppers Quad um, and the colors are just like a light beautiful gold, a champagne kind of color which is like, I don't know, somewhere between champagne and white, and a gunmetal gray, and then this like really pretty uh, deep golden brown. Um, so I'm going to use a flat, kind of dense brush uh, to apply the glitter so it picks up the particles well and it lays them on well also. And it is really flaky glitter, so it's kind of difficult to work with. But what you want to do when the camera focuses is pat it onto your lid and not smear it across, um, especially not at first, because then you'll get a lot of fallout. All the glitter will come down to like under here, which isn't the best look ever. So I'm just going to pick up more color and keep going in until I am satisfied with the amount of shimmer on my lid. Um, then I'm going to take what's left on the brush and go underneath my lashes. If you wanted, you could add more. I'm just going to kind of keep it like that. Um, from there, I'm going to use two different brown shades, and they are actually from a Wet n Wild Ultimate Brow Kit. And they look like this. Um, and I really like this brow kit for my brows, but I also find that the shadows that come with it are very pigmented um, and work well as like a regular blending kind of color and darker outer corner color. So I'm going to go in with a 222, which allows me to have a little bit more control. Um, I'm going to use the lighter color first, and I'm going to apply it right above where the glitter ends. I'm going to work it down a little bit and go right on top of it. And then I'm going to go in with the darker color, starting on the outer corner. Pull it down and in. And I'm going to add color until I'm satisfied with the way it looks in the depth over here. I think if you layer your shadows and add some depth to it, the glitter won't be as overpowering to the whole look. I think it will just look um, beautiful and pull together well. Okay, so from there I'm going to take a fluffy blending brush. This is a 224 by MAC, and which is already full of glitter from my other eye. Um, but I'm going to start kind of at the top of where the matte color is and blend this out as much as possible without 
hitting the glitter yet. All right, and then like work it down and blend out the glitter in the different blending colors until it's all blended like you would like it to be. And you can use a highlight color. I would absolutely use a matte one if you are going to. I'm going to skip it. I think I have like enough natural highlight. Um, I have kind of a an illuminating facial moisturizer on under here, so I think I have enough. And then some of the glitter gets lodged up here too, which also brings a lot of attention to that area. Uh, so from there, I'm actually going to take a baby wipe and kind of wipe off this area that is now full of glitter. Mm. I'm going to use a black liquid liner. This is Liner Intense. Uh, it's carbon black. It's by L'Oreal. And it's just a felt tip applicator. I'm just going to run this across my lash line just to give my lashes some sort of a base kind of to anchor them um, to make them appear thicker and fuller. I have had some difficulty doing this liner with this um, really golden flecky kind of uh, eyeshadow so you may have to go over it a time or two um, even after you curl your lashes and add mascara so now I'm just going to curl my lashes starting at the base and just pinch up kind of see I'm going to have to redo the liner it's pretty cool um, okay and then I'm going to take mascara and this is carbon black voluminous waterproof Mascara. Huh. I'll put whatever's left on the bottom lash line. And if you want to, feel free to line your waterline. I'm going to. This is just Urban Decay's 24-7 uh, liner in zero. Okay, and that's pretty much for the eyes, so I'm going to do the rest of my face, and I'll be back in a second. Hey guys, so that's the look, and this is it put together. I just have a little Neutrogena tinted moisturizer on my face, and Revlon first blush on my cheeks, and then a CoverGirl Outlast um, lip stain. So that is pretty much it. I think it's very pretty, very glittery. I saw some of my face, but... um. Very good for the season, very festive, very party appropriate, um, but still a little sophisticated. So I hope you enjoyed this, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.